Hey, what's up Stock Compounders, Brad here. So today I wanna to talk to the beginning investors. I wanna to talk to the 20 year olds who have never invested before. And you know, say you have $20 and you're wondering how can I invest $20? How can I get started? So I'm just gonna give you a few points here to, to get you going in the right direction. So step one, if you wanna start investing in the stock market, Step one is to open a brokerage account, okay? So I use Robinhood, I use TD Ameritrade. Um, now if you wanna do it within a retirement account, which I do recommend, um, <clears throat> you can do TD Ameritrade and set up a Roth IRA or a regular IRA. Otherwise, if you just wanna have a regular taxable account, you can set up a Robinhood account uh, where you would just you know, go to Robinhood, find someone who is a Robinhood user already and use their affiliate link and you get a free stock. That's always fun. And they get a free stock as well. Um, so now that you have a Robinhood account or any brokerage account, uh, you're gonna wanna sign up for fractional shares, okay? Now with Robinhood, I have access to fractional shares. There may still be a waiting list for some people to get access to fractional shares. And essentially what, what fractional shares are, it means you can put as little as $1 into any stock, okay? Even if a stock is trading at $10 per share, you can invest $1 and then you own a tenth of a share. So you own a, a fraction of a share. Um, so that's a great way if you only have $20 to invest uh, to be able to buy, um, be able to invest in any company that you want to, even if you're starting out with something as little as $20. You can even invest in Berkshire Hathaway if you want to, um, which is you know approaching $300,000 for an A share of stock. Um, so apply for fractional shares if, if you need to apply. It may just be provided with the broker that you sign up with, but uh, understand uh, if, if that's the case or not. You do want access to fractional shares. Now, on Robinhood, let's speak specifically about Robinhood. There are over 5,000 stocks that you can choose from on Robinhood, okay? Over 5,000 stocks, ETFs, different uh, investment instruments. Now, that's a problem for beginning investors because how the heck are we supposed to narrow down 5,000 options to, you know, options that are actually gonna be, gonna be good investments for us. Uh, most of those are not gonna serve us well as investments. So, you know, we really only want five, I would say. If, I'd say anywhere, you can even do one if you want to, anywhere between one and five stocks to start with. So if you have $20, and you wanna do five, you put $4 into five different stocks. Now, how do you go about picking the stocks that are gonna be great investments over the long term? Well, my biggest hack that I can offer is to look at a website called Data Roma. Okay, and I will leave a link in the description to this video. Now, what Data Roma does is it aggregates what the best investors in the world have bought and sold in the last quarter, okay? So if you look at it now, it's gonna be talking about uh, activity for these super investors between January 1st of 2020 and March 31st of 2020. And a lot of people think, well, you know, that's a little outdated, Brad. You know, what if, what if they've sold positions since then? I mean, what, it's middle of June now. Uh, but the truth is, when you're looking at these, uh, a lot of these value investors, a lot of these long-term value investors, they don't buy and sell very often, at least some of them. Uh, Monish Pabrai being one of my favorites that I follow for investment ideas. I mean, it's, it's very unusual for him to be buying more than one stock in a year, okay? Um, to this last year was an unusual year. I think he bought two in the U.S. So 
you know, when you're looking at investors like that who don't have much activity, um, a, a, a little lag time between when these buys and sells are reported and when we get to see them usually doesn't make too much of a difference. Obviously, you want to check that the stock price today is within the ballpark of what it was in the first quarter of 2020. But, you know, the, it's, it's the best hack for investors to look at what the best investors in the world have bought recently and kind of limit your, limit your buy list to what those best investors in the world have bought recently. So you come up with a list of, I don't know, 15 or 20 stocks that great investors have bought recently and pick five from that list, okay? Uh, Monish Pabrai calls this bowling with bumpers, okay? Now, if you're bowling and someone offers you bumpers and you're, you're playing in order to determine your financial future, okay? You don't want any gutter balls if, if, if you're playing for your financial freedom. If you're, I mean, the stakes are really high so if we're offered bowling with bumpers as investors, I mean, it's a no brainer to take that. Okay. And, you know, I notice a lot of investors on Robinhood, since I put out, you know, a, a top 10 video each week on what Robinhood investors are buying. Robinhood investors are not bowling with bumpers. Most of them are not doing that. And it's, it's, it really, it pains me to see, you know, them, you know, betting on these long shots, these, these gambles, you know, companies that have declared bankruptcy recently, like Hertz. I mean, it was the top stock in the last week and it just, it, it blows my mind. So if you're a beginning investor, figure out what the great investors are doing and imitate them. You don't have to imitate them exactly, but use what they've been buying as a starting list and you know, pick anywhere from one to five stocks from that list and you will be head and shoulders ahead of your peers who are also kind of getting into the investing space. It's just a no-brainer. So, you know, I, I wanted to share that. That's, that's my, my top tip for how to pick stocks as a beginning investor. Um, the other thing I want to mention, if you just want to buy an index fund, if you just want to kind of hitch your investment wagon to the market, to the S&P 500, uh, to the basically 500 largest U.S. companies, uh, that's what an index fund does. It tracks the 500 largest U.S. companies and your performance, your investment performance is going to be equivalent to what those 500 largest companies in the U.S what their financial uh, results are, what their investment results are. Now, uh, the, the index fund or the ETF that I would recommend through Robinhood is VOO. That's Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. It has a very low fee. It gets four basis points, 0.04%, which is awesome. Um, and if if you just want to make it as simple as possible starting out, I mean, just put $20 a month into VOO and you're going to do, you're going to do very well if you, if you keep that up uh, over the long run and kind of increase how much you can put towards that each month over time. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to speak to the beginning investors. I wish someone would have spoken to me when I was 20 years old. I mean, I'm 39 now. Uh, and you know, I have a little experience under my belt, but if I had started 20 years ago, 19 years ago, oh, it'd be a, it'd be a whole different ball game, guys. I would be in a whole different kind of exponential tier than I'm in right now. So just wanted to speak to you beginning, hopefully young investors. Uh, it is the best time right now to get started investing in the stock market. So that's all I got, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care.